guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury channel, Paul Pruder channel. And today I had a very, very interesting paid phone call. Uh, this is a good friend of mine. He's a fan of the channel. Brian is his name. No, not the, not the Melbourne one from Zircon. This is a different Brian. He's in America. Super rich. Super rich. And uh, me and Brian, <laughs> I've done a lot of consultancy with Brian. Um, he uh, he sent me 70, 60 US dollars, 70 Aussie. And uh, he wanted an hour of my time telephone consultancy, which I, I've been providing. Um, and uh, he, he, Brian's a very interesting dude. He's a very, very interesting dude. He, um... I've had a lot to talk about. We love both love cars, watches, and wenches. Wheels, watches, wenches. The three W's. WWW. -W -W. Uh, and uh, he's just, he got rid of, he had a, he had a Wraith. He had a Rolls Royce Silver Wraith. And he's just traded it in on a Silver Dawn. And I think he was saying his lease payment is only 4800 a month. Only $4,800 a month on the Wraith. Oh, sorry, on the Dawn. The new Silver Dawn he's got. And um, he, he, this is the guy, I don't know if you remember, he wanted my opinion on the Bubba Watson. That's the Richard Millay Bubba Watson. And um, we had a good talk about it. I think I made a video about it. Anyhow, he's back into watches. And he had, I did a collection review, and he, he had a few Rolex Steel Sports. He had, from memory, this is going back a bit, I remember he had a, uh, a Patek Philippe 5711 white dial. He had a white gold uh, Rolex Submariner ceramic Smurf. And uh, he had a GMT. And, you know, he had, a, he had a few interesting pieces, but he's now cleared the decks. Absolutely. Absolutely cleared the decks and he's asking me what one watch would make you happy what one watch he said I'm happy to spend hundred thousand dollars what one watch would make you happy and uh, most of my questions what's the best watch for five grand what's the best watch for seven and a half what's the best watch for ten thousand what's the best watch five uh, five to ten from 10 to 20, not much over 20 US, not much over 20 US. So when someone says, hey, what's the best watch for $100,000? It really got the cogs in my head spinning. So um, I, I actually, I, I had an hour conversation with him, an hour's consultancy, and we ended up on three key, Three key watches. Three key watches. Option one was a Patek Philippe. Patek Philippe 5980. Two-tone <coughs> blue dial. That's a two-tone uh, two-tone Nautilus chronograph blue dial. Killer. That was option one. Option two... We were really racking our brains. Option two was for a 3970 paddock. That's a perpetual calendar chronograph. Um, preference for rose gold, maybe with the exhibition back. That's a little bit over 100. Option three which I threw at him, was a Patek Philippe World Time enamel dial. It's a 5131. So we kind of hummed it hard over this. We gave, we gave him a list of options for around 100,000. Now, he likes to buy. He's not afraid to buy new, but he likes to buy... Uh, he, he's not also not afraid to buy used or grey market. He deals a lot with David S.W., that's the huge Rolex dealer in America on the Rolex forum and quite a few. He's very well respected. I've never met 
I've spoken to David SW, but he is uh, very cool, very, very friendly with David uh, SW. So, um, yeah. What would you choose if you had 100,000 smackaroonies? Stay tuned. Let's discuss this. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's take a look. What does a hundred thousand US dollars do? So let's just set our currency to US dollars and let's take a look. The first watch I said to our uh, wealthy friend would be a Patek Philippe. Patek Philippe. A, uh, a very special Patek, a 5980. That's right. That is a Patek Philippe chronograph. Um, yeah, <clears throat> it's a chronograph in two-tone. Now, I deliberately wanted the two-tone because I think this watch here just really captures the spirit of the mark. So if we have a bit of a look, we just search Patek Philippe 5980. 5980 is the reference for Patek's chronograph Nautilus. And uh, immediately we've got one here in New York at 60,000, 61,000. Uh, this is sorted by let's sort low to high. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So um, we've, we've got a few interesting pieces here. Fifties we get steel, but I, I, I'm saying two tone because I really do love the look of two tone. Forget the Russian vendors. Ugh. Let's go to a good, a good, honest American dealer. Uh, let's see what we can we can come up with here. Quite a few dealers selling the two tone. Uh, Sixty thousand dollar mark. There's dealers in Hong Kong uh, selling this piece in un. This is all U.S. prices here. Uh, quite a few dealers around the traps there so uh, German dealer quite quite a number of of these are available I would be inclined let's have a sticky beak here where can we let's have a look let's have a look Hong Kong UK so look the uh, these watches here very lovely has one in America I don't know this dealer but let's just take a look at his pictures Look at this here, a beautiful 5980 two-tone with that beautiful paddock blue dial. Look at that, absolutely stunning. Um, I think this is probably one of the, the greatest chronographs of all time. Just in two-tone, it just pops. This is a one watch, this is a wrist watch for a very successful man. This guy drives a Rolls Royce, a Rolls Royce. And this is this is a a gorgeous starting point. Gorgeous starting point indeed. Um, it's a let's have a look here just to reference minty case material. Well, it's steel and pink gold. It's it's not actually um, <clears throat> it's steel. Is it rose or pink gold? What what is this here? Let's have a look. Rose, eighteen carat rose. What the this this description what's uh, 40 mil yes 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 okay they're negotiable this is in Florida uh, with paper box and papers okay what a beautiful beautiful piece there okay um, let's have a sticky where's another another dealer here let's have a look here's another one in America uh, that's that's a very nice Example certificate of origin, okay. Box and everything $59,000. Two tone steel and rose gold. Look at this, absolutely stunning. Automatic box papers $59,000. Okay, so I, I think that's an absolutely gorgeous piece. Now, I think if our collector friend here wanted to go for something really special, we're going to be shooting around the hundred thousand dollar mark as soon as we type in paddock world time and this time we're going to type in five one three one this is a very special world time indeed it's the 
This is the very, very special enamel dial patek. And let's see what these critters are going for. So let's search low to high. Let's take a look. <coughs> Ooh, five one. Oh, we want a five, five one three, five one three one, because we want to see this enamel dial. Okay, it's going to muck me around. Thank you, thank you, Chrono Twenty Four. So for a hundred thousand dollars, I don't know if I really want it on the bracelet. I think it really works on the um, works on a leather strap. I, that's just my opinion. Uh, beautiful white gold version. Uh, look at this, hundred and fifteen thousand uh, dollars. Beautiful. Look at that map there. You know, every one of these is different. The the map they've painted is. Um, is different. They don't. No two apparently are the same. They're, they're hand done. The hand. The hand painted. I. I think in white gold this would be. So it's a five one three one G. Uh, Two thousand eleven with box. It's got papers. Hmm. I'd. I'd. I'd probably want one with papers for that sort of money. But hundred and fifteen. Uh, may, maybe it doesn't have papers. European watch. Actually, these are top dealer. European watch. This has got another one for 115. Look at this. Absolutely stunning. I think. Oh, look at that map. My God. This is. This is world time heaven. Uh, European watch company. Top rated dealer. Absolutely top rate. With box. With papers. Okay. These are, these guys are in Boston, Massachusetts. 115 thousand US dollars take it I would I would that's just if you're a one watch person you drive a Rolls Royce this is the watch to have absolutely amazing no other way I mean what else do you say this is one of the most it's a piece of art look at this box papers yep yep I'm, I'm ready to pull the trigger I'd be ready to pull the trigger. Uh, 115,000. One last throw. I'm going to put a, a vintage piece up here. I'm going to put a 3970. Okay, that's a paddock vintage. Vintage perpetual calendar chronograph. And um, these here, I reckon they look amazing <coughs> in rose, rose gold or yellow gold doesn't really matter um, they're just it's just a gorgeous perpetual calendar chronograph the guy concerned has got a he's a, he's a skinny he's, he's not a fat guy he's not fat he's skinny so this is a 36 mil watch look at that absolute oh my god this is just Oh my God! This is just to die for. Perpetual calendar chronograph. So this is a three nine seven zero. It's an ER, meaning it's rose gold, but it's also got the exhibition back. That's what the E stands for. With box, with papers, ninety one thousand. My God. I'd I'd jump on that. That is beautiful. Look at that. That is just. Oh my God. That is just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous um oh my god one ah uh, what would i go for the problem is these three watches are so amazing i every one of them the 5980 two tone i love that 60s the enamel dial world time the 5131 110 115 mark or a perpetual calendar chronograph, Patek 3970. Whew. I don't know. I really... What would I choose if I had a $100,000 US to spend? Guys, comments below. Tell me what you would pick. Please, put the comments below and tell me what you guys think of that. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel, Paul Pluto Channel. 
and my good friend Tan Zillin. Tan Zillin. Answering super chats, it's not about the money. It's not about the money. I feel like I'm doing my passion. Tan Zillin, simply the best. And uh, he's got another one for you here. How's this? Uh, it's uh, not about the money. It's not about the money. It's uh, my passion. Shaitling on time. Simply the best. Now, guys, I got to tell you, I struggle to survive full time on YouTube. Please look in the description below for 10 ways you can keep me full time on YouTube. Guys, I really need your help. Please consider getting a paid, paid video review. I'll do a review on any watch, any question you want. Guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. You can sponsor me for as little as a dollar a month. A dollar a month. And that just keeps me going on full time on YouTube. Guys, you could also, I do phone calls, phone calls. You can talk to me for an hour on the phone, Skype or WhatsApp for 50 US dollars. Guys, I really do need your help to stay full time. Ben cannot survive on Google Ads alone. Please help me. Please help me stay full time on YouTube. And guys, don't forget that. It's not about the money. It's my passion. Shakling on time. Simply the best. Tanzillin, thank you. That's a sponsored bit from Tanzillin. I can do that for $150 a month if you email me directly. Look below for my email address, guys. Okay.